there is great benefit to having some instruction about how best to write and submit an abstract. You have to make sure that you follow the instructions in terms of the word content, that is the number of words used, as well as the subheadings of the abstract that are recommended. In addition, you have to submit it in a timely manner. So uh, if you submit an abstract late, it can prejudice significantly against the possibility of the abstract being accepted. In terms of the text of the abstract, if you're reporting on research, you have to have an opening statement that identifies the purpose of your study. You have to have an experimental hypothesis. We chose to answer the question X. In addition, you need to provide data. It's remarkable to me over the years how many people do exciting and interesting projects, but they don't include data within their abstract. And that almost certainly will eliminate its consideration. So include the data. It doesn't have to be the final data. It doesn't have to be the full data set, but include enough data so people can get a sense of what your findings are. And now those are your results section. So you have an introduction, background, materials and methods, results, and finally conclusions. That is, what are the implications or what are the future implications going forward for the research that you've done?